the concept of artificial reefs, diversity enhancer type habitats. Um, it's basically like des designing a city and building a city. It's one of the best ways and best analogies to use when you're thinking about how a reef works. They work just like a city. And a, a vibrant city has a diversity of different buildings, doesn't it? You've got tall ones, you've got short ones, you've got wide buildings. And it's the same when it comes to diversity on a reef. We want a diversity of habitat if we want a lot of different species. And it also needs the food supply, just like a city does. So a good reef site has to have a current that's bringing food to the reef, just like a city needs a constant supply of food and also a city needs the waste taken away and that's what a current does on a reef as well, it takes the waste away. So it's bringing food and cleaner water and taking waste away. Also there's different visitors that come into a city during the day compared to the night time and that's the same on a reef. When you dive on a reef at night you've got a different group of fish that are out and about. Octopus coming out, lobster coming out for example. And same on the city, you've got your daytime crew that are in the city working, doing their thing and then nighttime comes along and the people in the city change. It's also seasonal as well. During different seasons you've got different fish moving through just like for a city. Like the Gold Coast would be very tourist prone so different times of the year you've got different tourists showing up on the Gold Coast. The same on a reef. There's a list of different fish and the different times of year that they show up on the Gold Coast. I think Spanish mackerel was from April to October for example. And then of course we got the biggest marine animal of them all, the humpback whales coming through this time of year, migrating through. So your reef in a good location has migratory species that you've got to think about and cater to in how you design your reef. Um, also the size of the reef, this critical mass. So if, you, if you're trying to create a village or a city, you've got to have enough houses and they've got to be close enough together. So one of the biggest mistakes I've seen around the world with reefs that aren't working is they're too far apart, they're too spread out. So if you have 200 meters between houses, that's not a very vibrant village. You need to bring them closer together. And so when we put the oyster triangles in, we'll be grouping them together into, to make it like a group. So a group of around 30 oyster triangles would be a good group to have. So always think of building a vibrant village and a vibrant city and what makes them, what makes them work. And it's very similar to a reef. Easy concept to understand.